It looks like Firebrand Hero is going to lose this battle, and uh, Pusan losing most of his forces, but killing all the tanks in the front area. Uh, hey, sorry about that. Uh, brief pause, hopefully it's not too out of sync. Um, I'm looking at factories, uh, looking at burning command center. Okay, that'll help me sync. Um, in any case, a bunch of vultures coming out, two tanks, and uh, a whole bunch of uh, Dragoons and Zalots still left, though, because... Uh, Pusan's managed to win that last battle. Um, I feel like the, the momentum of the game swung to his favor now. Templar Archives up, um, and you know, really you have to give it to Pusan for that amazing breakout there, uh, and also amazing reaver drop so far. Really just uh, taking, nullifying Firebird Hero's lead in the beginning of the game. Firebird Hero now getting his uh, second, uh, third command center up, second expansion. He's finally getting his academy, perhaps uh, fearing these DTs coming in, needing some uh, detection. And a lot of mines on the map, though, so... Um, but they, Pusan does have observers, so he'll be able to kill them off. Uh, just, it'll just slow them down a little bit. It uh, looks like it's just vultures hel helping to defend here. Because um, uh, uh, Firebear here has lost those time-consuming tanks. Those tanks are so time-consuming to build. Uh, ju but just a single shuttle left for... Two shuttles left for Pusan. And he's loading up some DTs into these shuttles. So... That could be uh, another X factor in this game here. Uh, what happens with these shuttles and how much damage these uh, Templar are able to do. And two shuttles now um, moving in. We'll see if he decides to go for the main. But the Vultures have spotted the shuttles and they're going to be able to figure out where they're going pretty soon. Um, Comsat's getting going up for Fire Pit Hero. We'll see if they're in time though because they may not finish in time and each will only have one scan. So depending on how many um, how many DTs there are, they could still do a lot of damage. Uh, there are turrets all around the base though. Oh, but there's no, there's only one turret. There's turrets there too. So actually, these shells are going to be pushed back. I don't think the DTs will do too much. Uh, they have a combination, though. They have Reavers also to help uh, defend themselves, I guess, against any Goliaths. Uh, they, you can just drop the Reavers and kill the Goliaths that are attacking. Um, so yeah, now it's three bases against three bases, and uh, Firebat Hero, we'll see what he decides to do here. Um, he's sort of locked in his base here a little bit, but I feel like if he gets more tanks, he can do another push. Uh, looks like the main is being mined out entirely for Pusan there, um, but I bet it's the same for Firebat Hero, or close to the same. Uh, Pusan's getting uh, some photon cannons around his, uh, so his mineral-only expansion to help defend. Um, and now we see, yeah, a good group of tanks here for Firebat Hero. I'm not sure if those armies are spitting. They could be upgrading. And these uh, Reavers just popping out to kill a couple of things, uh, kill some Vultures. Reavers are quite effective against Vultures, especially when the Vultures are clumped up. Yeah, they really can get killed off. And it looks like the Vultures are going to hunt down these High Templar. That's a good move by uh, Firebrand Hero to kill off these really expensive High Templar um, with just cheap Vultures. And one Vulture is still alive. He's going to be able to get a scout out if he wants um, into, into Pusan's base. And... Uh, Wow, still not getting taken out. He's going to see everything here. He's going to see the uh, uh, the observatory. Um, of course, he knows there's High Templar. So really, the tech tree being pretty much complete for Pusan, except for carriers. Uh, we'll see if he likes to go for carriers or not. Um, it may be a good idea in, because of... Uh, because of Firebird Hero's tank-heavy army so far. And it looks like he does have a starport up, So, but Firebird Hero's going to spot that starport. We'll see if these guys go for Arbiters, actually. That's also, uh, obviously, another choice. And that actually might be a wiser choice here on this map, because it's uh, the bases are so large that uh, you can really get in a, a good a good recall and do a lot of damage to the Terran player. Looks like a third expansion going up. Ooh, and these Reavers may be surrounded, but uh, it looks like... Looks like these uh, Goliaths may take down the shuttle here, and it does take down the shuttle, so these Reavers are going to get pinned in, and I think they're going to get destroyed now by this force. Yeah, these Reavers, without the help of the shuttle, are quite vulnerable. Um, so losing two Reavers there, uh, and that's going to hurt Pusan's offensive ability and harassment ability. Um, and it looks like a, f a third expansion is going up for Fire Hero, like I was saying, at the 12 o'clock position. Um, no fourth expan no fourth base going up for Pusan yet, and an Arbiter Tribunal is going up. Right, because uh, there's only one starport, so I uh, one Stargate, so I was expecting Arbiters. Um, and and we'll see if he decides to go for a stasis or a recall first. Uh, either are, are, are pretty good against Terran at this point. Um, and uh, we'll see what Firebrand Hero does to, to deal with that if he builds a science facility and gets some science vessels uh, with EMP. Um, it looks like Firebrand Hero is just scouting those vultures, making sure that there's no new expansions going up for uh, Pusan. And Pusan just uh, posturing a little bit in the middle. Um, neither player really able to attack the other player that effectively right now. Um, although I feel that Firebrand Hero would have more of a chance of success if he attacked. Uh, because uh, those tanks are just so hard to attack against. Looks like a third expansion is going up at the inside 4 o'clock position for Pusan. So they're 
even in expansions right now. Um, looks like a first Arbiter is coming out for Poussin also. And uh, more Vulture Harass coming in here. But this is going to be ineffective due to that well-placed Photon Cannon at the Mineral Only expansion. Um, it looks like the expansion is up for Firebird Hero at the 12 o'clock position. And Firebird Hero uh, continue to pump tanks from six factories. Looks like he's got a couple more machine shops, seven factories. And he's building more factories, so he's really going to get his macro up very quickly. He's going to replace lost units very quickly. But looks like another drop going in here uh, at the 12 o'clock position. He's dropped some DTs there. Uh, DT and the two DTs and a Zealot. Um, it looks like they're going to at least stop mining, if not take out some of these missile turrets. Uh, he takes out a missile turret, um, but I think he lost only one unit there, so really good harassment by Pusan there. Keeping Fire Breath Hero busy. Uh, and, you know, that really may not do too much damage, but it takes away from the focus of your opponent. And, you know, the focus is money and focus is units in this game uh, because you're just producing less and mining less and, and just controlling less effectively when you're getting harassed. Um, Pusan uh, still flying around with one shuttle. I don't think he's replaced his shuttles and a whole lot of tanks there, maybe a dozen tanks, really just making sure the mineral expansion's uh, kept safe. Um, yeah, so we're seeing a starport up, actually, in a science facility, so uh, he is going to be getting some, some science vessels really soon to deal with this Arbiter threat here. Um, and EMPs are quite effective against all Protoss units, of course, because of the shield. So if he decides to go for a couple of science vessels, that could be a clever move against these Master Goons, uh, not just to deal with Arbiters, but to make them much weaker when they're attacking or defending. Um, looks like a lot of tanks going up, so yeah, Firebird Hero is going to go for a push, it seems, before the Arbiters are up. Um, Arbiters are quite powerful against siege tanks because of the because uh, of stasis fields. Um, so it looks like more than a dozen tanks here, and they're actually ranging the... Uh, I think they're going to arrange at least that pylon. I'm not sure if they're going to arrange the Nexus on the... Uh, uh, 4 o'clock position there, and uh, he's on top of this ramp, so it's quite a defendable position, but it looks like the first Arbiter is out, and I'm not sure if there's any detection here. Now the Arbiter's coming in, a scan goes off to, to make sure there's no cloaking ability, and it looks like Shuttle's coming in the midst also. Let's see if he does a reaver drop. It, yeah, he does some DT drops right in the midst of those tanks, and he's going to pull off mostly, kill off most of these tanks here. He's going to kill off all the tanks in the backfield here, and wow, Poussin showing again, amazing shuttle play here, taking out like 6 or 7 tanks without losing much force at the back, and all the Dragoons are still alive because the tanks were taken care of. And this huge Dragoon force now pushing up. Wow, uh, I don't know what Firebat Hero could have done. I guess the only thing he could have done is have some Goliaths in the back to deal with that pair of shuttles because without them, um, uh, the, the shuttles just have free reign over the, the tanks. And now Firebat Hero is in big trouble. Uh, a lot of tanks here, a lot of Dragoons here, uh, only a couple of tanks. And uh, looks like there's still a dozen Dragoons. He might be able to take out the. Um, the mineral only expansion, there's no tanks there. And three fast shuttles going back for more uh, more units here. Um, and the Arbor still hasn't been used yet, so the Arbor is just saving up energy. Could do a recall at any point here. And uh, take surgically take out one of these expansions. And uh, Firebird Hero desperately trying to reach his mineral expansion with his uh, units being produced from his factories. And um, just uh, one Zealot here going to going to perhaps harass this expansion of the 12th. And uh, a couple of Dragoons going up to harass also. Uh, we'll see if he can manage to do some real economic damage here. Um, and really, Firebird Hero can't reach his 12 o'clock position because of those Dragoons sort of blocking in the, towards his base here. Um, it's hard for him to, to move units north. And uh, looks like these vultures are going to take out these Dragoons. Uh, one more Dragoon still left. A tank still left. Um, actually, in the corner, they're not being used. And Firebird Hero trying to expand again at the uh, 12 o'clock base. That's the natural expansion to the um, to the 11 o'clock base. Um, 11 o'clock spawn point base. More Arbiters coming out from the starports. Uh, more gateways being produced. And those three shuttles have really proven invaluable. They've uh, really uh, paid their worth in gold here for Poussin because he's just taken out so many attacks, taken out the original attack, done harassment, and taken out that huge attack just recently um, without sustaining much losses at all. Looks like finally Firebird Hero has actually decided to get a sh star, uh, a um, shuttle of uh, star yeah, dropship of his own in order to do some harassment and uh, counter drops against these uh, drops, but he only has one dropship, and Dragoons, of course, are much, uh, you know, Dragoons are able to take down dropships quite easily, um, and so they're not so effective uh, against Protoss uh, as uh, Shuttles are against Terran, um, and more Zealots being, being loaded, and these Zealots have proven invaluable in taking out the mass.